Hello. Welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be a Gemini weekly money and career reading from October 9th to the 15th, 2023. Gemini's. Welcome, welcome. Let's see what messages we have for this upcoming week. Gemini's weekly money and career. October 9th to the 15th, 2023. Gemini's, thank you. Thank you to each and every one for being here, for watching, sharing your energies, sharing your journeys. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, I will be offering two free readings during this end of year, uh, starting a bit of holiday season. And uh, I really wanted to share um, and, and offer two free readings to thank you all for your kindness, your kind messages and your kind energy in supporting this channel, pushing it to 30K right let's let's get it to 30k so i will be explaining um it's pretty simple how uh how you can uh put your name in the hat to potentially uh get a a free reading okay that'll be a bit further uh in and let's start a gemini Let's see what energies we have. The Three of Cups. This devil has been coming up in, uh, in a few readings already since I have started uh, these weekly. So uh, this gives me a little hint as to what the energies are globally in general as a collective. Um, feeling stuck, feeling uh, tied to certain energies, maybe that we don't correspond to anymore, or we don't fit there anymore, or they're not serving us, or they might be even a little manipulative, right? Um, I feel like there is a certain energy there where you're sort of... Um, maybe within uh, friends, circumstances, uh, work, um, co-workers, that's the word I was looking for. Um, it's, I mean, let's see where the cards go, because this can go both ways with the devil. It can go into a certain enthusiasm, passion for something, passion for a new a new hobby, a new subject, a new field, something you want to study, something you want to connect with, right? Or you're already connected with and you have this sort of fascination and you want um, to push more into that to find a certain freedom. That can be that as well, right? Motivated to, to move towards something more passionate and that gives you a certain... Um, free spirit, right? Getting into maybe a job, a subject, a company, something, or do it, or, or starting your own business to have, to gain a sense of freedom of mindset, making your own choices, making your own decisions, not have to follow, but, you know, um, but let's see where this goes, either or. We're not sure yet. Here we go. High priestess. Wow. Okay. So, it can be, and the strength card. Yes, yeah, so I, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to put the strength card here. So I feel like you want to branch out. You want to open yourself up to other opportunities with a certain, sorry, let me just, um, and I feel like with this, these, this three of cups here, it's, I don't feel like it's celebrating. I feel like you're within a group of people. 
So again, like I said, can be co-workers, can be, you know, within a community or a team, whatever it is that you like. You like these people or you liked them, Gemini, right? But you feel that there is a sort of sense of uh, competition, um, or you thought you were um, in a group of people or a team where you had a certain harmony uh, or friendship. There you go. Uh, people with who you were, whom you were working, this could be friends as well. But I believe this is maybe a group of people you're working with, and and you're feeling that there's a certain toxic energy there, or you feel tied in a certain way, tied to a contract, tied to the company, tied to uh, this group of people you're working with, right? Or a certain philosophy or decisions that are made, right? And I feel like you, with the strength card, you're understanding that maybe you want to go your own way, or you want to have more hmm, more control over the decisions or over the team or, you know, and, and you want to gain more independence. This independence keeps coming up. This independence maybe of, of choices or taking on more responsibility in another job or yet yeah, we're gaining more responsibility there but it feels like you're sort of wanting to gain control or m wanting to gain more assurance more um uh, how can i say um you you're you're pushing the limits you're pushing and you're moving forward probably wanting to push gain, push for more responsibility. So maybe you're trying to get a promotion. Maybe you're trying to make these people understand that you're worth more, that you can take on more responsibility, you have experience, and you should be, you know, able to open up to more skills, more knowledge, right? And you have the two of wands. Let's see where this is going. It, it doesn't seem... It, it's funny because it seems like on the surface, this is something really cool or, you know, very friendly. But underneath, when you, when you look closer, there's a lot of competition going on. And you feel that you, you're, you, you're worth more. There you go. And so with the strength card, it's just pushing the envelope, pushing the limits, having the courage to push into gaining more experience, maybe taking classes, uh, maybe checking out people that have more knowledge and brain picking there or, you know, uh, figuring things out to or solutions out to. Uh, maybe get another diploma or maybe just uh, get some training or something like that, pushing to understand more and allow more knowledge to come in, right? So that is what the high priestess is all about. She's all about um, understanding. Also following your intuition, right? Following what you think is important for you and what you think you can do to push forward and to gain more out of this. You feel like you're not getting enough out of this thing. Again, company, team, whatever it is, business, um, and that you're worth more, but also you feel like it's a, a little bit of a facade, a little fake, right? That everything looks so fun and everybody's friends and everybody loves working together and all that and underneath you're like well wait a second I'm worth more than this I can lead this team or you know this is a 
a little bit of BS because maybe I was promised something and, and maybe you're not delivering what I was promised or something like that, right? So here, it's almost, you're, you're, you're thinking about all this. You've been very patient, but yet very, um, you see very clear on what's happening. And almost like discreetly, you understand that your goals, you understand your goals. You know where you're going. You know what you want to obtain here. And so you know that you want to go towards other knowledge or you want to gain more skills. And so you're initiating something new. You want to go discover something new, connect with other people, learn more, learn new, um, right? And you feel like um, that is what is going to open you up to, uh, you know, open you up to other horizons, other opportunities, a promotion or something like that. But it feels like you're doing this discreetly. It's almost like you're, you're playing the game. There you go. You're playing their game all while understanding that you're going to go search for all the solutions to get that promotion or to make more money or to gain more responsibility within this situation. Wow. Okay. That's a lot going on, Gemini. But very, it's, it's not a secret, but you're very discreet in this and you're, yeah, playing the game. Okay. Well, there we go. Two of two of wands. Uh, comment down below. Comment down below. Let me know if you know exactly what's going on. It's very clear in your mind. You're very lucid on all of this that's going on, and you're not. You're not. You know. You you know how to do it. And it's almost like. And that's a typical Gemini, right? And in a good way. You're like, well, if you want to play that game, well, I can play it so much better than you and I'm going to be the winner here and I am going to get the knowledge and I'm going to get the promotion. That's the way I'm going to, I very discreetly in my corner, I know exactly what to do to reach this goal and to reach the finish line. Wow. Okay. Oh, here we, let's see if we can find, I'm laughing, but this is cool. I mean, you, you know, you have the key, Gemini, you have the key, but you know, you have to remain in control. You have to work. You have to go, go find all this. You have to accept to open up to, you know, other people that might share their knowledge, other communities, and maybe go to school or, you know, whatever it is. Okay. Let's see. The, and it's funny because these cards are not coming out. So you're very discreet. It's almost like you have a secret plan, Gemini. So let's see. Well, if it's a secret plan, I don't want you to reveal your secret on this platform for sure. Let's see what's, let's see what's next. Yes, well, here we go. So it is anxiety driven, not surprising. I would say that because you're, you know what you have to do, but you also know you have to be really uh, hush hush about it, right? And, and not reveal your card. So all this you have to do like uh, underground, right? Being under the radar. So. Oh, so either you're going back to something. Let's pull one more card. But yeah, there's a lot of competition. There's a lot of competition there. And you're a bit freaked out on all this going on. But it's going to is going to make sense, right? It already made, I mean, it's clear for you, but it's going to make sense that you have to change, shift, you know, let something go to be able to embark on this new journey, plan your future, plan ahead, plan this new job or plan to 
travel or you know whatever it is you're trying to open up to because it seems like you are trying to widen the spectrum widen the horizons go work in a on a bigger scale right maybe you're trying to get that job in that other that other position that's in another city in another country maybe there's a uh, an office opening up somewhere else and you want to go work there or maybe you want that position in international where you can travel a little bit maybe you want that position higher up with more knowledge working on other projects whatever it is right you are wanting that but for that you really have to let something go you have to let go of a sort of old sense of uh, what this was all about in the beginning you have to be like a different person a different approach a different energy a whole new way of presenting yourself and a whole new way of of working on a day-to-day -day -day routine if you want to step up the game, step up the volume. Wow. So, yes, because this is, it, it's, it is a big change. But I feel like this is a big change that you want, that you're working for, you're working towards. So it's a change, a transition, but it's also freedom for you. More freedom, again, I'm going back to what I said in the beginning, more freedom of knowledge, more freedom of working on, you know, more interesting projects, more, in, you know, gaining more responsibility. It's a new chapter, a new chapter within this job. And if it's not within this, I, I feel like it's within the same environment and you want to gain more responsibility. That's the narrative since the beginning. But you could also be going back, right? Gaining more knowledge, training classes, uh, uh, trying to connect with people that can help you out uh, on, um, you know, for to um, understand and give you information and give you more knowledge on something or more experience. Um, and you can be going back to a company, a project, a business with more responsibility because we have the Six of Cups. Interesting. You can be working with children, but I don't think it's that. It's it's um you wanting to be in something more important and more beneficial for you. But for that, it's important to accept this new type of opportunity and what comes with it, right? And this transformation within your career or even within your life that it's going to it's going to ask you to detach yourself from certain routines, certain emotions, right? Maybe that you have had during your career in these past jobs. And so if you want, okay, so it's almost like if you, um, these energies are going to be different. If you want to enter this realm, enter this new phase in your life, this new chapter, right? That you're working so hard for. Let's say you get a promotion. Let's get, let's say you get that job, in that other office or let's say you get that job within that that project or company or whatever that you want more responsibility for um you're gonna have to act differently right and that's the death card you're gonna have to let go of of whatever you were hanging on to whatever triggers you had whatever emotions you had whatever dissatisfactions right frustrations that were sort of heavy on your shoulders or that you were you know sort of going around and round in the hamster wheel with right with the dissatisfactions and the frustrations here right with the devil so whatever is sort of fogging your brain because it's you know a little tricky you're going to have to let go of that and um so you're so you can pave the way open your way sort of like a, a snow plow so you can move forward more accomplishments move forward more um 
um, more opportunities or open up to this new opportunity so you can develop your career. And yes, it feels like you want to develop your career. So you will move into something where you can grow. That makes sense. Not that you're reneging your, your past, right? It's just that if you want this and if you want to grow, uh, let's say you want to be director. Let's say you want to be manager. Let's say you want your, your own business, whatever it is, and you have a team and you have to manage, you have to let go a certain way. You cannot come you know, with the same dynamic if you really gain a lot of responsibility. You have to go work, go into work a different person. <coughs> with a different facade hence you're hiding a little you're hiding your game i like that but that's that's very logical right when we want to when we want to work and when we want responsibilities in a job in a company in a business whatever it is and um it, it comes with a whole new set of rules a whole new persona that you have to show, right? That's probably why you're hiding your game. All right, I'm still trying to get that last card. Okay, I guess it's this. Queen of Cups. I don't feel like it's this. Let me let me try to... That sort of came out in an odd way. Let's see. Okay, well, no, that's a lot. All right, well, we'll take all these. All right, here we go. Yeah, because this, I think, well, we're going to forget about that one. I believe that was not the one to come out. Four pentacles, yes, saving your money, working hard. There you go. This is all about you doing whatever you have to do to get that position or to start your business or take on more responsibility. So you're perfecting your skill, you're saving your money, you're being very discreet, you're not revealing your cards, you're being very stubborn in your approach, but you're not revealing your cards. You're not revealing your cards as to what you are manifesting. This is pure manifestation and putting all, all, um, all, how can I say, all knowledge on your side, all, uh, Chances, sorry, I was trying to find chances, all chances on your side to make this transformation happen with the magician. And it's time. And I think you have all the knowledge and I think you have everything you need to make it happen. Um, but it is after, you know, checking everything out and understanding what, you know, what it is that you have to do very discreetly to it's almost like it's funny because it's almost like it's a competition to get that promotion or a competition to get that job and you're exact again I'm saying this I know I'm repeating myself but it's like you're not showing your card so you're like under radar and it's almost like you're going to um, beat them all on the finish line and they won't, they, other co-workers or other people interested or other people that apply to the job or other people that want that position or whatever it is, right? You are going to uh, just cut the finish line right before them and, uh, and no one even knows that you are applying for that job or you want that or, you know, that you're working so hard to gain that position, that's right if that makes sense so because you are manifesting this this is something you clearly want and are working really hard for under the radar so yes you have everything you need to make this happen to make this project happen or to make whatever it is you're trying to manifest and it's also, it's for you, it's like really above all, number one on your list, expanding your horizons, right? Working on a bigger, bigger territory, on a bigger scale, more knowledge, more whatever it is, whether it be international, 
you know, or whether it be working on bigger projects, whatever it is you're trying to gain. And here we are, the Wheel of Fortune. Doesn't get better than that. Happening on a whole new dynamic, right? Swiftly, all of a sudden, you're moving forward. And I think um, the chance is on your side. Luck is on your side. But you've worked really hard for this. And this is a beautiful opportunity. And uh, you are going to grab this opportunity with both hands. It's the moment. It's the moment you've been waiting for. Grab, grab this opportunity. This is what you have done under the radar all this time. Time to make it happen. Wow. This is a beautiful reading, Gemini. Absolutely beautiful. Let's see if we can gain a little more knowledge in this second deck. I guess I have to title this, this reading um, Discreetly or Secretly Winning. Something like that, right? Yes, new knowledge again, right? It's new. Okay, so we still, so we do have the Queen of Cups. She is important. You're letting go. Good, you're letting go. You're letting go the emotions because you have the Three of Cups, Four of Cups, and the, and the Queen of Cups. So you're really letting go of these emotions. Maybe that uh, these friends or coworkers sort of installed, right? This emotional um, pattern or you know this friendly atmosphere within a job and you're sort of done with that because you see through all these people and you understand that it's just very superficial and it's a bunch of bs so you don't want to deal with that anymore good for you good for you um and uh, you know this page of swords is really about um starting a new idea starting a new job eager eager to learn this whole thing is all about learning all about opening up to other skills all about doing everything you can to get to that next level and that is really in a very very hush hush discreet way and you're getting there you are getting there. Wow, there you go. There's your offer. There's that offer. So just know that everything that you are putting together, all the strategies, all the ideas, all the planning to do this, there's your offer. Now, wow, you have the sun. You have the hermit, not not surprising because this is all underground. This is all you thinking all this, um, figuring out, figuring out what how you can change, how you have to adapt, what position you're going to take, what your journey is going to be like on this different energy. It's a complete different energy. And you have the hierophant. So you have the high priestess and the hierophant and uh, and this guy again. So you, you do have all the knowledge you need, or you understand everything you need to push to this manifestation to, you know, to step up to the next level. And the high priestess and the hierophant, which is making this official. The high priestess is, you know, following, being patient, being discreet, gaining that knowledge discreetly. And then this, this um, hierophant here is about giving that stamp of approval. So someone there is giving you that offer. Someone there is making you sign contracts or giving you a stamp of approval of what you've done to get this opportunity and to get this offer. You're going straight to opportunities here, um, opportunities to grab, 
Uh, but it's it's really in a beautiful way, Gemini, because it's all about patience and 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 respecting the dynamic and respecting all the rules and regulations and everything you have to navigate. And then and then there's the officialization of all this. But you're going to your goals. You're really going to and you're following your convictions. You're following your ideas. You're following your way. You put in a strategy. You planned all this out and you're following this step by step. So that is really imposing respect, imposing, um, uh, imposing respect. Now, either you are um, now reaching another level because maybe you got another diploma, maybe you, took, you got training, maybe you took classes and now you're reaching this level or someone in a higher level, respectful level, someone uh, in your realm, in your, um, uh, I want to say entourage, but that's not it, in your, in this situation, in your environment, someone here is really at a higher level, maybe a teacher, a mentor, someone that's helping you on this, and someone you respect. You respect at a high level for their knowledge, for whatever their resume is, their diplomas, their experience, right, in the field. And because of them, you're gaining experience. Because of them, you're gaining wisdom in this whole thing, in this whole experience. Wow, it is, it's, it's fascinating, it's fascinating. So comment down below. Uh, let me know where you stand on your journey. Share your energies. Um, it is a beautiful, beautiful reading. Gemini's, uh, let me know. Let me know or just put a heart down below. But, but instead of a heart, if you're interested, you can put a heart down below. Absolutely. If you don't wish to share, not every, like I say, not everybody wants to share their life on these platforms. Uh, but if you wish to participate and to maybe get a free reading, um, you, uh, all you have to do is put, I invite you to put three suns down below. So everybody shares a wonderful energy of the sun, happiness, respect, um, harmony, but also positivity, right? Positivity. The sun is all about happiness, but also warm energies and positive energies. So let's put that out for everybody. So if you're interested in putting your name in for a potential free reading, uh, put three suns down below with uh, the area you are from or the country you are from. Uh, maybe with a one-liner, uh, just saying why you would like a free reading, but you don't have to. Uh, so three suns with the place where you're from, but also, most importantly, you must be subscribed, right? I have to be able to see that you're subscribed make sure you're subscribed. I will only pick someone that, or, or two people that are subscribed. Fair game. So um, there we go. I uh, This is probably going to go on for October, November. I'm going to just let everybody able to uh, participate. Uh, and I'll probably pick a winner. I don't like to say winner to pick, pick two people, uh, by the end, uh, mid to end, uh, November, and then maybe put, uh, two more up for grabs for December for the holiday season. So there you go. Be subscribed, three sons and the, uh, and, and where you're from, what country you're from. Okay. Here we go. Gemini. That is if you're interested, of course. All right, here we go. Let's see if there's one last message for the road. Gemini. The weekly money and career, October 9th to the 15th, 2023 for the sign of Gemini, six of wands. 
moving forward. Okay. So you you're you're trusting yourself in this. This is really beautiful. Moving forward, celebrating this success, celebrating yourself. The 6 of wands is that confidence you have, that winning confidence. People see you, trust you, uh like what you bring to the table so you can be proud of yourself, celebrate yourself, Gemini, for a job well done, a manifesting well done, all the way to your goal, to success, taking it to the next level. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful reading, Gemini. I hope you enjoyed this reading as much as I did. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to each and every one for sharing your journeys, for sharing your energies, and thank you just for being here. Thank you. Have a great week, Geminis. Take care. Bye-bye.